the vagus nerve. And I'm not talking about Las Vegas, Nevada. We're talking about the vagus nerve, the longest nerve in the human body and the most widely extended of the nerves of the body. So the vagus nerve is so misunderstood and does so much. A lot of other nerves have really specific innervations and things that they control. While the vagus nerve, well vagus in, in Latin means um, fugitive or wanderer, right? So it's funny that they gave it that name a, because it's, it's also the longest nerve in the human body, but the vagus nerve keeps us alive by connecting the, or innervating the nervous system, and it has a direct connection with the internal organs of the body, and it also interacts directly, not only with the brain and spinal cord, but cranial nerves, upper cervical or upper part of your neck, the nerves up here, and your sympathetic nervous system, which I won't go into just now about the sympathetic versus parasympathetic, but you can see here is a spine and the vagus nerve travels, it's in C1, C2 area, but it travels all the way down the side of the neck. So you'll find the vagus nerve, yes, you'll find it at C1, you'll find it at C2 level, C3, C4, throughout the neck. It can be adjusted by adjusting C1 or C2 or manipulated or pressure taken off of that nerve. If you have pressure on the nerve or you have cervical instability, instability in your neck, that can definitely cause the symptoms of a pinched or compressed vagus nerve. Now, we spoke about the vagus nerve having innervations in the nervous system, internal organs, interactions with the brain. So they connect the, the internal organs to the brain, to the spinal cord, right? And the nerves are that, uh, that vessel that carries all those signals from the brain and spinal cord to the other organs or wherever that particular nerve may go. Sensory functions of the vagus nerve are critical for not only conscious perception, but for monitoring your visceral functions. So cardiopulmonary and gastrointestinal. So a lot of people have vagus nerve issues, we'll call that, vagus nerve problems, vagus nerve issues, and also suffer from hiatal hernia. Right? And the vagus nerve runs through alongside the esophagus, through the hiatus, alongside the stomach there. And when you have a hiatal hernia, that can entrap or put pressure on the vagus nerve. And as I said before, it monitors the visceral functions of cardiopulmonary and gastrointestinal systems. And you know, as much as it plays a critical role in homeostasis or balance in the body, it has a lot of really diverse functions, not only relating to digestion, but respiration, blood pressure, heart rate control. So very profound and a very important nerve that's overlooked and missed a lot of times. And a lot of gastroenterologists seem to miss the vagus nerve and not quite understand it as much as a cardiovascular surgeon or a cardiologist would. So if you have abnormalities in the vagus nerve, that can reach all sorts of pretty wide range of, of consequences there if you have damage to that nerve, not only acid reflux, but heart failure, failure of respiratory control, gastroparesis, vasovagal syncope, and just chronic pain. So if you do have pressure on the vagus nerve, you definitely want to address that. Now, as I said, the vagus nerve goes through the diaphragm here. So a lot of our patients that have hiatal hernias tend to have irritation to the vagus nerve just below or at the diaphragm. And the supradiaphragmatic vagus nerve innervates the skin of the auricular branch of the posterior cranial fossa here, right? So it's a meningeal branch, and I'm not gonna get too into that, but it goes to the larynx, the pharynx, upper esophagus, aortic arch, trachea, lungs, heart, the right vagus nerve, which more so than the left, innervates the SA node as well as the AV node, which I had mentioned earlier. And it's something that you need to be really aware of and take care of and address. And if you're not getting the right answers from your gastroenterologist, see somebody that specializes in the vagus nerve. But again, that vagus nerve is that two-way messenger network that passes messages between the organs and the brain. And 
It helps to maintain heart rate, blood pressure, circulation, breathing, internal organs, movement of food through the digestive system. That's about it that I can think of. I'm sure there's maybe a few that I missed. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope this sort of boils down the vagus nerve and, and helps you to understand it a little better. If you have any questions or comments, or if you have an idea for a video, feel free to write it below and we'll do our best to get to it. Thank you. Appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We do four videos every week on all different kinds of health products. Not only health products, but also health conditions. So really all different kinds of things, videos, all related to health and wellness. I hope that helps. Thank you for tubing in. I appreciate all of you. See you soon.